Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Linux as a Windows application. Uh, so you won't be dual booting, you won't be using a virtual machine. Linux will be installed as if it's an application and it's not using WSL either. And what we're going to use is something called Q4OS. So open a browser and go to www.q4os.org and then we're going to go to the downloads page and if you scroll down here you'll see there is an installer for Windows and all you have to do is click on this Win Setup and then not now take me to the download unless you want to donate it might be one of those things that you donate after you've downloaded and installed it see if it's something you like and that will download in the top right corner once it's finished, you can close the web browser and open up a file explorer. Click on uh, Downloads. Open up the zip folder. Uh, click on the file and then click Extract All. And then choose Extract. I've already done it, so uh, you can have a, I can replace the file, you won't see this message and then we want to go into downloads and you'll see this under this Q4 OS Win Setup folder you'll see this Q4 OS Win Setup double click that uh, when the screen appears it, it means that the app hasn't been signed by the developers yet but all we have to do is click more info and then run anyway and when this warning appears just click yes uh, when the screen appears you can leave all the defaults if you want you can increase the size if you've got enough disk space but uh, you can leave all the defaults it's going to install to the C drive it's going to use this desktop environment here uh, it's 21 gigabytes uh, language English um, you can obviously change that to be the one that you require I recommend leaving the username alone and then just type in your password and repeating it now this is a password you want to be able to use for Linux it doesn't have to be your Windows password then click install and you can see how long it's going to take it says three hours I get the feeling it's going to be a lot shorter than that you can see it's coming down quite quickly uh, you can see after the download stage completed it then does the extraction when the install is finished all you have to do is uh, reboot your computer so I'm going to do that now typical <laughs> that's Windows for you so the first boot takes a little while um, to um, take place as you can see and as you can see I'm actually in the Q4 OS I'm going to log in it asks about your monitor so I'm going to accept the defaults click OK and then it asks do you want the fully featured desktop with web browser or do you want the basic with common utilities or a complete minimal one and the desktop environment is KDE Plasma you can choose a different one if you want to but we're going to leave that as KDE Plasma for now and I'm going to go for the fully featured install I'm not going to lie this process took quite a while to um, achieve I'm going to click finish now uh, okay to reboot your computer now when you reboot um, you'll see there's now two options uh, one's for Windows and uh, one's for Q4 so if I go into Q4 type in your password and here we are we are now at the welcome screen uh, you can run the desktop profiler install applications install codecs do screen saving set auto login and hardware and you can see uh, the rest of Q4 has loaded in the background so that's how you install uh, Q4 OS and Linux as an application inside of Windows. Now, this isn't new technology. In fact, it's very old technology. Uh, Ubuntu used to use this um, way back in 2010, I believe it was, and it was called Wubi, W-U-B-I. Uh, so I'm gonna call this Revenge of Wubi. Do I recommend that you use this method of installing Linux? Actually, no, I don't. Uh, it's like 
a halfway house between dual booting. Now, I don't particularly like dual booting as an option because what your one Windows update away from disaster. Installing it this way, you're at the mercy of Windows uh, as well. I much prefer if you want to test it out to use a virtual machine uh, because you can create virtual machines, install the operating system, use it, and then you can delete the uh, virtual machine if you decide you don't like it. Now I'm now going to go into Windows and I'm going to show you how to uninstall uh, Q4OS as well. So I need to reboot. This time we're going to choose Windows Boot Manager. So to uninstall, you just open a File Explorer again, go to Downloads, and run your setup again. Click Yes, and then click Uninstall. And that's it, you can click Cancel. And when you reboot, Now when you reboot, uh, it doesn't come up with the boot menu, Q4 OS is gone and you're left with Windows as it was before. So how do I feel about it? So using this uh, Wubi um, installer, you can install Q4 OS as if it's an application within Windows and when you reboot it does let you choose either Windows or Q4 OS, which seems like a great idea. but I think you're not far away from disaster if you do this. Uh, I prefer using a virtual machine um, over either this method or indeed your booting. If you want Linux on its own, then install it onto its own machine. If you want Linux um, and Windows, have one of them as the main machine and the other as a virtual machine. Uh, that is my personal preference. But this video shows you how to install Q4 OS Linux alongside Windows as an application within Windows. And that's the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.